Thank you very much for joining us today. My name's Sam Crafter. I'm the Chief Executive of the Office of Hydrogen Power South Australia. Uh, and I'm here to run you through our request for proposals that we've just put out to market for uh, the delivery of hydrogen production and power generation facilities and associated storage in South Australia. But first, I'd like to acknowledge that the, the country that we're on, as guests here on Aboriginal land, we acknowledge everything this agency does impacts on Aboriginal country. The sea, the sky, its people, and the spiritual and cultural connections which have existed since the first sunrise. Our responsibility is to share our collective knowledge, recognise a difficult history, respect the, respect the relationships made over time, and create a stronger future. We are ready to walk, learn, and work together. So what I'd like to start with today is a little bit about um, our um, renewable energy situation in South Australia and really the leadership position that we've had. South Australia is a global leader in the clean energy transition, having transformed its energy system from 1% to almost 70% variable renewable energy in just over 15 years. Our state has one of the best climates globally for solar with three large scale solar farms, uh, large scale solar farms, sorry, and one of the highest per capita levels of rooftop solar installed anywhere in the world. South Australia also has the legislative frameworks, supportive government and renewable resources to develop large scale renewables and green hydrogen projects. In terms of the bigger picture, um, our project, the Hydrogen Jobs Plan, which is being delivered strategically with the Port Benython Hydrogen Export Hub and the Northern Water Supply projects in South Australia, has the potential to catalyse hydrogen industry investment and jobs. So in terms of the specifics, the Hydrogen Jobs Plan is one of South Australian government's key commitments with a capital budget of $593 million allocated to deliver world leading hydrogen facilities in the Wyala area and to be up and running by December 2025. This is a once in a generation investment which places South Australia in an unrivaled position to become a global leader in green hydrogen. So this project will help to accelerate the growth of a new industry in South Australia and deliver a range of benefits, including supporting our continued leadership in the clean energy transition and decarbonisation efforts. As well as creating jobs for South Australians, which is a key outcome we're looking for, the construction of a hydrogen powered generator will enhance South Australia's grid security through a new source of dispatchable power generation. It will also help to unlock the pipeline of renewable energy, energy developments, um, the associated manufacturing opportunities that come with that, uh, as well as potential supply chains. The Office of Hydrogen Power SA was established in May 2022 to oversee the design and construction stage of the Hydrogen Jobs Plan. Earlier this year, the office undertook an international market sounding process, which sought information from industry on the technical, technical system and commercial project approaches for the project. All of this work uh, and engagement, as well as um, intensive conversations, market analysis and engineering inputs has informed the project design and procurement approach that we are taking. So now I'll just talk a bit more specifically about the RFP that we've, we're putting into market. So on Friday the 16th of December, the Office of Hydrogen Power South Australia has released a request for a proposal which seeks industry partners to help deliver the hydrogen jobs plan by December 2025. The RFP focuses on the supply, construction and operation of the hydrogen plant and equipment, electrolyzers, power generation and storage, as well as arrangements for offtake of the hydrogen produced from the facility after power generation needs have been met. So the request for a proposal is designed around discrete work packages to ensure the full scope of work is covered and risk appropriately allocated. The technical scope for this RFP, which is specified in the work packages one to eight uh, on the screen, relates to the supply construction, commissioning, operation and maintenance of the hydrogen plant and equipment, as well as arrangements for offtake of the hydrogen produced from the facility um, once we've uh, utilised it for the power generation requirements. The RFP seeks full turnkey solutions for each package and an option to purchase primary equipment for each facility solution. Some packages are portions of a system intentionally, so that elements of responses from proponents can be evaluated individually or collectively to achieve an optimal outcome for the project. The packages have also been designed to enable early decision making if required for ordering technology items with long lead times commencing and commencing early work activities. The RFP seeks proposals from the market against a defined base case that will deliver the hydrogen production, generation and storage infrastructure on land identified in the Wyala City Council region 
for delivery by the end of 2025, in line with the government's commitment. However, proponents are encouraged to put forward alternative proposals that have the potential to deliver further benefits for both the state as well as the proponents. We're keen to ensure that we have explored all opportunities to leverage the government's significant capital investment to accelerate more growth in the sector, for example, in the construction of additional hydrogen facilities in South Australia. These benefits could be realised through co-location and other partnership opportunities with proponents who are currently delivering, developing hydrogen projects in South Australia or with industrial users looking to decarbonise. The RFP excludes associated enabling infrastructure for water and electricity supply uh, and the associated um, supply arrangements, um, which are being progressed separately by us at the team in Office of Hydrogen Power SA. Uh, so we're going to talk now about the land that we've included in the RFP. Government has worked with the Wyalee City Council, as well as the traditional owners of the region, the Bungalow people, to be able to secure options for land for the project to be delivered. The RFP includes a land prospectus which details these land options. However, proponents may also propose alternative sites that can support the construction of the project by December 2025. Land access for the sites described in the land prospectus will be coordinated by the South Australian Government by our team, with proponents not required to liaise with stakeholders in this regard during the RFP process. So creation of jobs for South Australians is a key project objective. Proponents are to submit a tailored industry participation plan that demonstrates compliance with the South Australian industry participation policy and a skilling South Australian procurement guideline. The South Australian Government has established an industry capability network South Australia within the state's Department for Industry, Innovation and Science. The Industry Capability Network South Australia provides a service to support project proponents seeking to engage local suppliers for their project requirements and is undertaking a hydrogen supply chain mapping study. Details of submissions received through the hydrogen supply chain portal are available for proponents upon request with information on how to access the ICN available within the RFP. So in terms of the timelines, the RFP will be open for approximately 10 weeks with proposal submissions closing on the 21st of February. So I encourage you to download the Hydrogen Jobs Plan request for proposal from the South Australian Tenders and Contracts website at www.tenders.sa.gov.au. Should you need any further information, you're welcome to contact us via the email on the screen. We'll also host a Q&A session in mid-January once you've had a chance to review the documents. Uh, we'll also uh, be looking to coordinate a site visit to look at the, um, the land in and around Wyala um, and we'll have more information coming out to you about that opportunity. Thank you for your time and I look forward to further engagement on this exciting project.